A year ago, if you, for those of you who were here, we marched to the satellite jail. And at that time, to be quite honest, I was quite sure that the sheriff was going to have himself a nice shiny new jail and they'd be digging and building by now. But we've turned that around. <laughs> by mobilizing people effectively in the community, we've basically taken this $20 million jail, this $5 million jail, this jail off the agenda for 2014. There will be, there will be not, according to the sheriff, he is not going to ask for one cent of money for construction in 2014. And we have won, we have won a $200,000 shift of resources for programs, not jails. Yeah. So those are programs for re-entry and programs for other things that are going to keep people out of jail rather than build more capacity, more housing for low-income people. The public housing program the sheriff had in mind was more jail cells. Now we want to turn the attention elsewhere to public housing for people in the community. So there's a big connection between the jail stopping the public housing in, in the form of jail cells and trying to build public housing in the community where, where it's needed and build programs that will help people to stay out of, to stay out of jail. So I hope that you will continue to support the struggle around the jail because we have some little bits to tie up yet. Okay? On the, 24th, on the 24th of October, the county board is going to have a, a final sort of vote on the budget for 2014. Now, they've said what they're going to recommend, but we don't always trust what they say. <laughs> so we need to keep an eye on them. We need to be there and make sure that they do what they say they're going to do. So I'm urging everyone to come out on the 24th of October, Thursday night, 7 o'clock at Brookins. 1776 East Washington. Show your face if you've got one of these beautiful uh, gr green t-shirts. Wear that or anything else that's sort of this color. To, do we want the county board to have that color fixed in, the, fixed in their minds for a while. And then beyond that, we'll also have to keep an eye on them. Even if they vote for no jail, they don't give up that easy. So we'll have to keep an eye on them. But we can celebrate on the 24th if we win this victory and they vote for programs, not jails. Thank you very much. Yeah.